हेलो फोक्स दिस इज परमजीत सिंह थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाय वंस अगेन सो व्हाट डू यू पुट ऑन योर प्लेट एवरी डे एंड व्हाट डू यू ईट फ्रॉम दैट प्लेट एवरी डे नो नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट द डाइट एंड नॉर आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाट शुड और शुड नॉट ईट माई आइडिया हेयर टू शेयर विद यू इज दैट देर इज ए फूड यू ईट and there is a process through which the food is eaten so i'm going to talk to you about the process which way you consume the food what kind of attitude you bring to your food how do you view the food itself not the kind of food which can be a separate conversation in itself but i'm going to talk to you about the quality of attention and the quality of process you bring to when you're eating your food and food is something we have a daily relationship once twice thrice depending upon the frequency with which you eat but we all have some sort of a relationship with the eating and that relationship has a huge implication the quality of our physical self and mental self as well as spiritual self so the one thing i want to invite you to consider is that whatever you put on your plate see if you can form a different kind of a relationship on it rather than going through the hoops trying to figure out what kind of food you are trying to put on which may have a relevance in some context but most of the time we miss the mark by over exaggerating the nature of the food with the process over the process with which we consume the uh, the food every day so instead of eating your food mindlessly instead of emphasizing the quantity of the food see if you can reframe your process so here is thing you can do so whenever you get to your plate instead of started eating immediately see if you can pay attention to the subtler part of your food the colors the texture the aroma the shape and the size of the food and then observe it non judgmentally then you put that food into your tongue let it sit there let the food speak to you notice any flavors aromas that come from it and then the to continue the process then chew it slowly gently and with intention and there's a two very important effects that are going to happen if you engage in this process one is very biological factor that comes in play so whenever you are taking a slow approach to eating not only you are giving enough room to your brain to release those satiety hormones which indicate satisfaction but you also end up eating less so you are shooting two birds with one stone in a metaphorical way so it takes around 20 minutes for the brain to start noticing that you have been eating and if you eat very fast you end up eating lot more than you need second when you eat slowly you end up masticating the food very well you end up eating the digestive process thereby elimination process and thereby contributing to your overall health overall health digestive process is partly happens in our mouth the way we swallow and the way we masticate the food the way we relate to the food and then the the rest of the part happens in the stomach through the processing so that's one thing the second part is that food has become so mundane our daily life that by paying attention to something so mundane and reframing our relationship to it can enhance our psychological well-being because whenever you're going to pay attention to something cognitively assertive you are going to pay attention at the expense of something you exclude which means that if you're paying attention to the food on the plate most likely the way brain functions is that you will not have resources to pay attention to something that's going around you by doing so you are being present you are being mindful at that moment and mindfulness in itself is known to improve the quality of psychological well-being so there's two things happening whenever you relate to the food one which is very biological and by slowing down the consumption 
by reframing your relationship to the food through the aroma smell color shape and size you begin to reconstitute relationship something which actually constitute the building blocks of your body and the second is more psychological by being present to the food you begin to understand the value and the importance of mundane and how most of our life is lived in mundane and if we want to improve the quality of our mental and psychological well-being we need to pay attention what happens in the mundane in mundane we breathe in mundane we eat in mundane we walk these are mundane active they are not very exciting in itself but if you bring a different kind of consciousness to the process it can begin to heal your body and mind in a very different way and will enhance the process in itself over the period of time not only it will make your body healthier it will improve your mental well-being and if you think in the spiritual sense it will begin to shape up your spiritual life in a very different way so the next time you put the food on to your plate today for the purpose of experiment just pay attention to it relate to it differently than you have always done in the past and then see how it goes so that's it for today uh, if you find this information useful kindly subscribe to our channel share with other people like the video uh, don't forget to press the bell icon that will first deliver the videos uh, with notification and continue to stay curious with your food that you put on your plate and reasonably non judgment thank you very much for stopping by please subscribe to the channel like and share thank you <laughs>